physical health affect your job or business or social interactions? Oh, it's massive. It's huge. Because it's about how you feel, right? How you feel is how you experience life. Yeah. So if you're, not, if you're not feeling good in your body, then you're not gonna you're not gonna be interacting well with other people. So I make it a point to every day make sure that I'm feeling good. But that's super important for me now. And actually, one of my clients made me, made me aware of this. You know, this is another thing. Like my clients teach me things, which is great. That's actually what I wanted. That's why I got into coaching. Um, it's like because he's a public speaker, right? And he said. You know, how, I, I ask myself every morning, how do I want to feel today? How do I want to feel today? And that is, that sets the precedent for the day. Like, and I feel like that's that's really important to just share. But yeah, your physical health affects every, every area of your life, you know? And if you're not moving every day, motion creates emotion, right? So if I'm not moving my body, then I'm, I'm, the emotion is just trapped in me. I need to I need to move through it. I need to I need to do some sort of movement, right? Whatever it is, just some sort of movement will help with, with how I feel. And so I'm really big on that. And also, you know, how you interact with other people as well. For example, myself, I go to the gym and we have a recovery center. Uh, so it's just like sauna, ice bath, jacuzzi, and you know, just so- socializing without your phone. That's huge as well. You know, like yeah. Just, totally. You're improving your health, but you're also getting that social connection at the same time. And it's that is also another thing in my program is um, self-care protocols, like how to de-stress. Because everyone, we're so stressed right now, uh, especially now this year. But in general, we're always stressed. And how to de-stress is just disconnect and have some real connection. You know, relationships is really important. Having some real connection and, you know, not trying to be someone you're not and just being yourself and just uh, in, enjoying, you know, the present mo- the present moment and, and not being anxious, you know. So earlier this year, I had a panic attack because I was uh, I was being anxious. I was worried about the future. And it was my only, the only panic attack I've ever had. And one of the reasons I had that is because I was just worrying about the future. And, you know, negative self-talk, that's another thing I talk about. Negative self-talk and worrying about the future those two things will give you a panic attack. You know? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. So now I just take every day as it comes. You know, uh, my mantra before this call was let's let's do the best I can on this interview, you know, mm-hmm. and give as much as I can. And that's it. That's all I'm focused on right now. I'm not thinking about the rest of my day. The only thing I think about right now is this interview.